Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on visually distinguishing our environments within Django admin. Now to just give you some clarity let me show you an example here. So if I just scroll past the instructions here for a moment we can see here a few screenshots available for what I am referring to by visually distinguishing our environments within Django admin. So let's say for example we have our Django project and we are getting it all set and ready for production or we're in the testing phase or the development phase we can go ahead and distinguish our Django admin by these environments. So for example as we can see here we have production server, here we have development server and here we have testing server. Now of course you can modify the text and the color as well. I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and set this up. Now this is very useful if you have your development um, project that you're working on um, locally in your system and you just want to make sure that you set that um, Django admin environment to be seen as a testing server. And if you are in a production based environment and you have all those production settings in place for your Django project, you also want to see what it looks like on a production based level. Another useful feature is also to hide this, um, how can I say, this bar that shows which environment you're within. So in other words, let's say someone heads on over to your Django admin page. What you can do is you can also disable on the Django admin um, page, the login page, if this um, bar here, this distinguished bar comes out to all users or only to authenticated users that have logged into Django admin. Now this will make more sense once I put it into practice. But anyway guys, that is what to expect in this video tutorial. We're going to go ahead and set all of that up. I will be sure to attach all of the relevant links of what I mention here in the video tutorial in the description below. So as always, what you need to do is you need to first of all make sure that you have a simple Django project up and running. So it can be very basic, it can be very straightforward, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have one up and ready to go, you're perfect and set and ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive straight in. So we're going to utilize the Django admin env notice package. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we need to install the Django admin env notice package within our virtual environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the following. And in my terminal, in my virtual environment, I'm going to just go ahead and install this package. So let's do that. So pip install Django admin env dash notice. There we go. Great, now the next thing we need to do is we need to add it to our installed apps. Now make sure that you add it before the django.contrib.admin app that you have by default in your list of installed apps. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy the following. So it will be in white here what you need to add in. Then we can go to our project. Let's head on over to our settings.py file. And you want to navigate to your list of installed apps. And remember what it said, it needs to be above the Django um, contrib admin app. So we can put it right here on the top. Like so. So make sure you go ahead and copy and paste that accordingly as I have done so. And let's continue. Next, what we need to do is we need to add in the following context processor, which is right here. Okay, and what we can do is we can go ahead and look for it here. So here it is in white, and you can go ahead and copy this as is. Up to the comma there, you can copy that. And then you can head on over to your settings.py file again and scroll down until you see this templates list here. So here under context um, processes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that in. So I'm just going to add a new line and paste it in like so. So make sure you go ahead and add in the following accordingly. So you need that context processor in place as well. Great, so let's continue. So we've got that in place. Now what we can do is we can add in the default options here. So the environment name, the environment color, what you can do here, this is an optional uh, setting here. You can override Django admin selector if necessary, and you can just go ahead and set the um, header, for example, as grapply. But this part here, we're just going to skip out. We don't need to know this. What's also important is we can set the environment banner to flow over instead of being fixed to the top. We can also set the text color. The default is white, so you can change the color. So as you can see here, the default is white 
for that text color that we have set up here. Okay, and something also important is you can stop showing the banner to unauthenticated users by the following setting. And I'm going to elaborate this in a moment, but let's just get the fundamentals out of the way. So let's set the label for our current environment. So let's say we are in a production environment. So I'm going to copy these settings and you can just head on anywhere to your settings.py file. And I'll just put this down here and paste it in. So I'm going to set my environment name to production server and my environment color to FF2222. So it, it's in hex codes and I will mention a little bit more about hex codes later on. Okay, and then I want to set the environment banner to float over instead of being fixed. So I'm going to copy this and paste that in like such. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. So what you can do is head on over to your Django admin. So I just want to run my server. Okay. Go and let me just start on the local host here. Okay, and if you're on your main page, you can just type in forward slash and type in admin. And it's going to take you to this page here. And as you can see here, it says production server. And we have that fixed up. So we can see we've got the environment name and that environment color is set to that hex code that we have. So these are color codes. And it's also set to float as well as we've got that set. Okay, so there we have it. Now, another setting here that you can see is if we were to go on ahead and decide whether we want to show it to an unauthenticated user. So a user here is unauthenticated. So let's say we don't want them to see this. What you can do is go ahead and copy the following here and you can paste it in. So if you're unauthenticated, in other words, you're not logged into Django admin, so let's refresh, you're not going to see that. So that's a very helpful security feature that you can add into place. However, when you do log in, you're going to see that banner again because you are an authenticated user. But more on that in just a moment. So I'll, co I'll comment that out and let's just uh, refresh. There we go. And what I wanna do is just go ahead and create an admin user so I can log into Django admin and I can just give you further insight. So I'm going to say Python manage.py create super user. Okay, say so Arno, skip, password. And again. Okay, and I want to run my server. Let's go and run that. Right, perfect. Let's refresh. All right, and now let's go ahead and log in with our admin uh, credentials. Perfect. Now let's log in. And there we go. We can see now that we are officially logged in and we're good to go. And we can also see that as, an, as by default, we will see this heading as well as we are navigating our Django admin. Now, another setting you can see here is if we were to scroll down, okay, it has a sort of style set to it. So as you can see here, the environment float setting here is set to true. So as we can see here, if we set this to true here, essentially what's gonna happen, it's going to float over instead of being fixed to the top. So we can see here, what is in effect. So let me go ahead and set this to false. Okay, and okay, I'm just going to rerun my server. Fresh. Okay, and now you're going to see it's going to be fixed to the top. So if you set the following variable here, environment uh, underscore float to false, it's no longer going to float and it's going to be fixed to the top. As we can see here, what's going to happen, it's going to be fixed instead of floating. But I feel um, that it's much cleaner to set this to float. So it's a bit of a more seamless um, experience, you could say, a little bit um, better in that regard. Okay, another thing that I want to mention is the colors here. So let's say we want to change the, the text here and let's say we want it to say, instead of production server, we can say development server. So let's see, change this. So here you can see you can easily change that text there. And let's say we want to change that environment color. Okay, um, here is a website here where you can get some sample color hex codes. So we can see here what is quite popular. And let's say we want to set this to like a greenish color. 
So I'll copy this hex code and I'm going to replace that color as such. So that will change the environment color. And if I refresh here, you can see now it says development server. However, that looks a little, um, let's see if we can get a darker green, darker shade. So it really brings out that white um, color. There we go. Okay, so it looks a little bit more pronounced. So you can decide here what you want to go ahead and add into place. It's really um, your choice as to what you want to set up and integrate. So it can be any color, of course, that you feel is going to be suited to your needs and what you feel will look nice. Okay, so that's how you can go ahead setting the following examples. Now, I would just want to go deeper into this option here. So environment show to un authenticated equals false. So the default, as we know, is true. So this is this has been commented out, so it's going to be set to true. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and log out. So I'm going to log out, go to home, and I can see it's currently still available here. So what I want to do here is I want to set this to false. Okay, and let's refresh. Okay, and that's going to disappear. So this is this heading here is always going to be shown if you are an authenticated user by default. Here we're just explicitly setting it to show to um, unauthenticated users to be false. So let's go ahead and enter in our credentials again. All right, and let's log in. And as you'll see here, here is the heading up again. So with the logic that we have here, okay, only authenticated users, if we add in the following configuration here, only authenticated users will be able to see our environment name, the color, and to distinguish it. So like I said, it's a very helpful security measure and you can see it in greater detail in this case. All right, so the last setting here, which you can also see, is you can also change the text color as well. So again, you're going to go ahead and alter that color. So we can go ahead and add that in. Okay, let's paste that in. So default is white, and let's see if we set this to, um, what have we got? Set this to maybe uh, red. Okay, let's put in that color. Okay, and there we have development server, so it doesn't look that clean, so we might need to add in a lighter color to make that banner a little bit cleaner so it um, just merges nicely there we go okay so you can also change that color as well to distinguish your environments all right guys so that's it for this video tutorial on visually distinguishing your um, environments within a django admin in terms of production server environment server testing server which is a very helpful manner of managing your application and um, Django admin as a result to just know what you are working with as of that particular moment and where you are in your project. Okay, right, so that's it for this video and as always thank you for support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.